Alright, for this video we're going to be talking about function operations. So basically we'll be given two, maybe three functions. And it'll ask you to do some operations, so plus, minus, multiply, divide, all that good stuff. So, you'll see this kind of notation, where it's f plus g of x. f minus g, f times g, f divided by g. And you can just split this function, or this notation, into the addition or subtraction multiplication division of, of the functions. Everything's pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing too fancy. We're just going to perform the operation and find the new domain. So let's get started with uh, this guy. Perform the function operations and find the new domain. We are given these two functions, f of x and g of x. I want to find f plus g, f minus, or g minus f, f times g, and f divided by g. So, f plus g of x is going to be, let's see, f of x plus g of x. It's 2x squared plus ooh, x minus 1. Now we want to find the new domain. Remember, the domain changes when we have variables in the denominator or variables inside an even root. Only here, we have variables inside an even root, so we're going to restrict our domain. We're going to say x minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0, so x has to be greater than or equal to 1. So that is our new domain. So our new domain is x is greater than or equal to 1. Alright, so f plus g of x is equal to 2x squared plus the square root of x minus 1, and here's our new domain. g minus f of x is the same thing as g of x minus f of x, g of x being the square root of x minus 1, and then f of x being 2x squared. Okay, so that one's completely simplified. So our new domain is x is greater than or equal to 1. We did that, we did the solving for that guy over here. Same restrictions, because it's the same uh, situation. F times g of x. That's f of x times g of x. Which is 2x squared times the square root of x minus 1. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't think we need to combine like terms really. Or foil or anything really. That's completely done. So now we find our new domain. We have an even root, so we know that x has to be greater than or equal to 1. And then last but not least, we have f of x divided by g of x, which is f of x divided by g of x, which is the same thing as 2x squared divided by the square root of x minus 1. Okay, now our new domain, our restrictions. x minus 1 has to be greater than 0, not equal to, because it's in the denominator. Since it's in the denominator, x can't be equal to. So x is greater than 1, or so our new domain, x is greater than 1. Alright, after watching those last couple slides, I want you to give these problems a try. They're basically the same thing we're doing, or we just did, except different kind of functions.